Managing leads and customers should not feel like juggling sticky notes and spreadsheets. If you're in sales or running a business, you've got enough on your plate. So here's where HubSpot CRM can really help you out. It is specifically designed to organize contacts, track conversations, and close deals without drowning in complexity. In this tutorial, we'll walk through everything from setting up your HubSpot CRM account and building your very first pipeline, to tracking deals and using HubSpot's new AI features. By the end, you'll have a clean, functional CRM you can actually rely on. Let's get started. When you first log into HubSpot, you'll see it's split into hubs, marketing, sales, customer service, and so on. For this tutorial, we're focusing on the CRM, the heart of the platform and foundation for everything. The first thing you'll want to do is configure your account. To do that, head to settings and then account defaults. Here, you can upload your logo, set your time zone, add your company name, choose your preferred currency, and more. All simple stuff, but it will save you tons of times later when you're sending emails or generating reports. Plus, it will make everything feel more tailored and professional. The next thing you'll want to do is import your contacts. First, head to Contacts on the left-hand menu, and then click Import in the top right. You'll have a few options here. You can import contacts from files, sync with Gmail or Outlook, or add contacts manually one at a time. Although, I don't think you want to do that. The best thing to do is to import a cleaned up CSV file. Remove outdated emails, unsubscribed users, and duplicate entries before you upload. Check out some free list cleaning services in the description below to help with that. This improves your sender reputation and makes your CRM much more effective from day one. Once your list is ready, upload your file and map your fields. For example, map your first name column to HubSpot's built-in first name property email to email, and so forth. Worried about custom fields like industry or lead source? No worries, you can create matching custom properties in HubSpot to keep things all organized. Let me show you how. But before that, let me give you a quick pro tip. If you're not using custom properties already and custom fields, these let you capture what matters most to your business. You can add custom fields to any contact to get a fuller picture or even uncover patterns or clues that can lead to more closed deals. To create a custom field, go to Contacts, click Actions, then Edit Properties, then click Create Property. So let's say you're in B2B sales, you may want to track industry, company size, sales region, assigned sales rep, or lead score. Here's a bonus tip, enable smart property prompts. This lets HubSpot AI suggest or extract values automatically. Just type something like, how many employees does this company have? Then choose a data source, such as web research or company website, and HubSpot will populate that field for you. It's a huge time saver. Plus, it helps enrich your CRM. The properties can be used in contact profiles, forms, filters, and reports, giving you better control and smarter segmentation. Just make sure to double check the AI generated values for accuracy before relying on them. Okay, with your contacts imported and cleaned up, it's time to organize them into lists. Go to CRM, then lists. Click create list in the top right hand corner. First, choose what type of object you want to create a list for, say contacts, companies, deals, etc. In this case, choose contacts. Next, decide which list type you want to use, static or active. Static lists are manually managed and don't update automatically. On the other hand, active lists are dynamic. They update automatically based on filters like lifecycle stage, email activity, or custom properties. For an active list, you'll need to set at least one filter. For example, contacts who opened an email in the past 30 days, or leads in the prospect lifecycle stage or contacts from Spain or in the tech industry. Click Add Filter and define your conditions. Once your filters are set, click Next, give your list a name and optional description, then click Save to process the list. You can use these to send targeted email campaigns, 
build automations, report and forecast, and personalize content. Active Lists will continue updating as contact data changes, saving you time and keeping your segments fresh automatically. Okay, time to track your sales opportunities. Go to CRM, then Deals. This is your visual sales pipeline. The first time you open it, HubSpot will ask you how you want to set things up. You'll have two options. Help me get started, which is a guided setup wizard, or I'll set up myself. We'll go with the manual route so you know how to do that. Click Create Deal, then fill in the basics, like deal name, associated contact or company, stage, amount, close date, owner, type, and priority. HubSpot provides a default pipeline with stages like appointment scheduled, contract sent, and closed one. But you can customize all of this to match your actual process. To do that, go to CRM, then Deals, then Edit Pipeline. You can rename or reorder stages, add new ones using Add Stage, assign closed probabilities to each stage for forecasting, or create entirely new pipelines if you manage multiple sales flows in the starter plan or above. What's great is that as deals move through the pipeline, HubSpot will automatically update your forecasted revenue. So you can stay on top of your sales targets so easily. Also, each deal and contact provides a timeline. Here, you log all your activity and plan future activity, like follow-ups. Inside each contact, you can leave call notes, create tasks with due dates and reminders, schedule meetings with HubSpot's free booking tool, and send and track emails directly from the CRM. Let's run through a sample scenario. Mm, say send an email and book a meeting. To send the email, go to Contacts, select a contact, click Email in the timeline, use the built-in editor to type your message, or click the Generate Content button to use HubSpot's AI to write email copy or suggest subject lines for you. Click Send, and that's it. It's automatically logged. All right, now let's schedule that meeting. While you're still in the contact view, click Meetings. If it's your first time here, HubSpot will walk you through setting up your meeting link. Choose your calendar, set your availability, and customize the meeting details. Once set up, you can send this link to your contact to book time with you directly. Pro tip, if you're using Gmail or Outlook, we have some great news. HubSpot offers a free Chrome extension for Gmail and an Outlook add-in. These let you send and log emails directly from your inbox. No need to switch tabs. To set this up, go to Settings, then Email. Connect your Gmail or Outlook account. Then follow the prompt to install the Chrome extension or the Outlook add-in. Once installed, you'll be able to see who opened your email, track clicks, and automatically log emails to the right contact or deal in the CRM. This saves a ton of time and ensures your CRM stays updated without needing to copy or paste anything. Okay, but what if you work remotely? Luckily, HubSpot has a mobile app for both iOS and Android, so they've got you covered. The app lets you manage contacts, check deal progress, add notes, and even schedule tasks all from your phone. Okay, but what if you're on HubSpot's free CRM plan, what can you do? Well, you might be thinking you only get the very basics, but actually some automation features are included. You can set up one simple action per form or email. For example, when someone fills out a form on your website, you could send them a follow-up email, add them to a list, or update a contact property. Same thing with marketing emails. If someone clicks the link in your email, you can trigger one follow-up action. But, and this is important, you can't build full workflows on the free plan. If you wanna do anything like mm, automatically assign leads to a sales rep, send internal notifications, or update a contact's lifecycle stage, you'll need to be on the starter plan, which gives you access to the full workflows tool where you can build multi-step sequences based on all kinds of triggers. Actually, while you're here, you wanna see a free automation in action? Okay, so let's say you wanna send a follow-up email when someone submits a form. Here's how to make it happen. Go to Marketing, then Forms. Choose a form you've already created or make a new one. Click into the form editor, then go to the 
Options tab. Scroll to Follow up options and enable Send a follow up email. Write your message or choose an existing email from your library. Save and publish your form. Now, whenever someone fills out that form, they'll automatically receive your email. No need to do anything else. Pretty cool, huh? So, this is the kind of simple single step automation that you get with the free plan. It's great for quick follow ups, but for more advanced sequences, you'll want to explore the paid plans. Finally, let's customize your reports dashboard. HubSpot's reporting dashboard is fully customizable, so you can tailor it to display what matters most to your team. To get started, Go to Reports, then Dashboards, click Edit Dashboard, use the Add Report button to add widgets like Open Deals, Pipeline Revenue, Email Performance, drag and drop to rearrange widgets, remove any reports you don't need. On Paid Plans, you unlock advanced custom reports like breaking down win rates by industry or tracking engagement by lead source. And with deal forecasting, HubSpot can estimate future revenue based on pipeline activity, helping you set and hit sales targets much more confidently. And that's your complete beginner's guide to HubSpot CRM. If you found this video helpful, hit subscribe for more tutorials on CRMs, email marketing, and automation. And check the links in the description below for our detailed HubSpot review, pricing guide, and comparison with other top CRM alternatives. Thanks for watching, guys.